Well, hello everyone. Tom here. Welcome to History Delights. Today's video is going to be a second part or a second installment of my friend Kevin and I's uh, trip down to Lewis, Iowa. Lewis is located in Cass County. Uh, it's down in the southwestern part of the state. And the first video, uh, we covered the Hitchcock House, which was a stop on the Underground Railroad. So if you haven't uh, seen that video, I'll, I'll post a link to that video in, at the end of this one. So this ties in with that. So the Mormon Trail, what is it? What was it? Well, I'll just give you a little snapshot of history here, and I'll just very briefly go over the history of Joseph Smith. Uh, in, in and around the 1830s, he was there in New York and a young man and he founded a, a religion and founded the Church of uh, uh, Latter-day Saints and the followers became to be known as Mormons. So he set out to establish communities and he started traveling west and they hit several states along the way. Um, the problem was they always seem to run into some problems with the locals and they would have troubles in town and so they'd pick up stakes and they'd, they'd move further west. That's it in a nutshell. Uh, one of the last stops is uh, Nauvoo, Illinois. And Nauvoo is right along the Mississippi River, right across the uh, border from Iowa. It would be uh, southeast Iowa and uh, western Illinois. So the town of Nauvoo, it really prospered. Uh, but again, trouble hit. An arrest warrant was issued for Joseph Smith. Um, he was arrested and placed in a jail in Carthage, Illinois. And then there's several versions of what happened, but the bottom line is an angry mob come to the jail and Joseph was shot and killed. So after his death, then Brigham Young took over as the head of the church. And he decided that uh, Salt Lake, the Great Salt Lake, is the place that they should go to create their new Zion. So in 1848, they started west from Nauvoo, Illinois, and they went across southern Iowa into Nebraska and on west. Now they started out, I believe, in like February. They had bad weather. They had disease. Uh, they ran out of provisions. It was a very tough journey. Most of the Mormons could not afford a wagon, so they had hand carts that they would pull. And so it was a very arduous trip. So one of the places that they crossed through was nearby this town of present day Lewis, Iowa. Now, rivers always caused a challenge. How do you get across these big rivers? Well, in Lewis, there was a ferry there, a cable ferry. Uh, if anyone's ever seen the movie Outlaw Josie Wales where the, he's crossing the river and they pull him across on the ferry, that's what kind of what we're talking about. Well, the Mormons didn't have the money to pay or they didn't want to pay the, the fee to use the ferry. So they went a little further south down the river where there was a, a wide bend in the river. And I'm supposing, a, you know, shallower water and uh, flatter banks and they, they anyway they were able to cross the river there for free but then as they came back around they would come right across the property or right next to the property of Reverend Hitchcock which is what ties it in with the Hitchcock house so they would come right along his property <coughs> excuse me So we have this interesting story of the Mormons going west, coming through this little town of Lewis. They ended up uh, hitting Council Bluffs in Omaha. Uh, they did winter over one year. There were several hundred of them uh, died from disease and from the cold and such. So for the rest of this video, I'm just going to kind of provide a uh, slideshow. Uh, there's a lot of placards and stuff that that you can read, you can pause it as you're watching this video, pause it and read it. I don't think I need to read them to you. So these are pictures that we took about the, uh, the Mormons and about the ferry house. So I encourage everyone to go out and check your local history. It, it's amazing here in this state, the state of Iowa, how much history there really is. We forget about it, we overlook it, and it's right under our nose. But until next time, 
from, on behalf of History of the Lights, I just want to wish you a very delightful day. Well, I'm in Cold Spring Park here in Cass County, uh, the uh, Cass County Conservation Board Park, and we're in front of a historical marker here. It's uh, labeled the Road to Zion, and this just indicates that somewhere through this park or in this immediate area why the, the Mormons did pass through here on their trek west. So we're going to be looking for some more of these historical markers or finding out more information on the local history concerning the Mormons and the Mormon Trail. And this again coincides with our uh, the house that uh, was on the Underground Railroad and also the author that we was able to, to listen to today. Okay, we've come down this road here and back over my uh, left shoulder here is what's known as the Ferry House. It was a family that owned and operated a ferry that went across uh, the river just to my right here. Um, what's kind of historic about this is because the Mormons didn't want to pay the, the toll or the fee to cross on the ferry, further upstream on the river there's a, a bend in the river and I'm assuming it was shallower there and they were able to cross there so they didn't want to come over on this side of the river. This is kind of a, what one of the cable ferries would look like. And then as we walk back down over here, we look back over here, down the road here, you can see the bridge where the river is.